Things get explosive in Jean Grey issue 5. Jean continues her combat training this issue as she finds herself training under Psylocke, who isn't too fond of the teenager and her constant questions. Frustrated Psylocke's meditation isn't working, Jean is taken to Plan B, which instead of using the silence and serenity of Japan to get Jean to summon her weapons, Psylocke will use the noise of a Philadelphia nightclub. When that only ends in Jean beating up some mosh pit goers, Psylocke opts for Plan C, a dark cave filled with mole monsters. The instant endangerment allows Jean to conjure up some of her weapons, killing the creatures before being returned to Madripoor. Psylocke explains to Jean that focus isn't her problem and that it is her fight or flight response, which has control over it since she can conjure weapons whenever she is in danger. The only way she can train it is by a trial by fire, which is why they are in Madripoor. Handing her a bag of explosives, Psylocke tells Jean to infiltrate the hand building they are on and plant explosives around it. Planting the explosives brings Jean into contact with some of the hand ninjas, forcing her to conjure the weapons she needs. Needs. Falling through a ventilation shaft puts Jean in a bit more danger as she has to face off against an army of ninjas while Psylocke tries to rescue her, only to find the young mutant has defeated all of the ninjas thanks to her new weapons. Cleaning up the fight, the two mutants leave the building and allow Psylocke to blow it up. Jean Grey issue 5 continues Jean's quest to equip herself with the skills to fight the Phoenix when it inevitably comes for her. This issue was about finding what triggers her weapons, and thanks to Psylocke, the young mutant did just that. What I did like about this issue was Psylocke just let Jean do sort of her own thing and sort of let her go about doing her trial by fire her own way and didn't, you know, constantly get in her way and sort of tell her she has to do it this way and this way and didn't pretend to know she knew all about Jean's powers and how they all work and everything. This issue however had the bad luck of going up against another Jean Grey story that delved into what the Phoenix is a bit more than this issue and because of it I think that one was the more far superior issue since it allowed Jean to gain an understanding of what's to come and sort of learn about what is coming for her and how to combat it a little bit more and a bit more of an understanding of what exactly the phoenix is. That's not to say this issue was a bad issue, it just drew the short straw when it came to properly accelerating her story. I'm going to give this issue a 7 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.